Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on the rest of the extra trainers on uh, Mount Chimney. Then we took on the uh, f uh, Leverage City, Leverage Town Pokemon Gym. These are Fire type Pokemon there. Um, and we battled the trainers, they went too hard. But then we, when we got to Flannery, we did, I had an epic Torkoal sweep against their team. Like two Slugumons and a Torkoal. Which is pretty cool, actually. I have Twitch up front, as you can see right there. So let's take on the um the desert, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna use a repel though because I don't want to want to want to pick one. Hopefully, Spoink can help. It should um be able to uh, uh, you know repel all these Pokemon, so I can repel Pokemon up to level 20 and below. So hopefully that's enough. If not, I'll just switch to like um uh, fighter who repel levels 25 and below. So yeah. Here's the camper dude. Let's talk to him. Oh hey, those are Google suit you, but I think they look better on me. Let's decide who they look better on with the battle. Okay, you're probably gonna lose this, but we can we can do that, I guess. Yeah, this is camper Drew. He has one Pokemon. It's a Sand Shrew. Okay, it's level 24. Nice. A Sam Storm is Sam Storm. A Sam Storm is raging. Yeah. Okay, fine. We'll use um side beam on this thing. Let's see how much it does. Ah, oh, cool. Critical. Cool, cool, awesome. I'll take it. Nice. Twitch is level 22. Awesome. Yeah. Player defeat camper drew. Nice. I couldn't see what was happening at my sides because of how my go, go goggles. Sure, blame it on them. But my the goggles, I guess. Sure. Thanks for 384 Poker Dollars, man. Um, he's a hiker, dude. I think he has a sand slosh, honestly. He probably doesn't even know about Judo or Onyx or anything. For 30 years, I've searched for the ancient ruins. Am I to be challenged? Sure, we can battle, I guess, if you want. You have. Oh, this is a. This is actually a room maniac. It looks like a hiker, though. Sprite. Uh, on its field sprite, or whatever it is. The sand slosh is level 24. Okay, cool. The sand sword is raging. Good. No, that's not good for us, actually. I think it's good for um, ground type Pokemon because they don't get affected by it, but, you know. Ooh, confusion, awesome. Yeah, nice. Hit yourself confusion, man. Hit yourself in confusion. Nope, of course not. Poison sting, it hits. No. I was afraid of that because poison, jeez. Ay ay ay. And you're buffered by, buffed by the sandstorm. Shoot. Let's go for the side beam. Get yourself a confusion, please. That'd be awesome if you could. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or if you would, huh? Okay, so there goes the sandstorm again. I buffed by the sandstorm, of course. And hurt by the poison. That's just great, man. That's just great. Let's go for the side beam. This should finish off the sand slash. Which should be good. And it, awesome, it does. Nice. Okay, cool. We defeated uh, Rune Maniac or Dusty. Yeah. While I have searched for the ruins, I've not searched for a strong Pokemon. Oh, don't be so down on yourself. Thanks for the 1,440 Poké Dollars, though. Let's, uh... Let's use a... Ah, uh, shoot. Let's use a healing powder, whatever it is. I can't, I can't believe I can't keep on doing that. Jeez. Shoot. Okay. So let's use a full heal. There we go. Nice. And let's use a super potion. Nice, okay. There's an item here, it's a Stardust for what's it's on a mark. Fuck mine, that's awesome. And here's a picnicker, let's talk to her. Or battle her, I should say. I heard that there were fossils to be found in the desert, but where could they where could they be? It's actually in the top right corner of um the desert really, basically, if that makes sense. Okay, century level twenty four, nice, okay. Let's go for the, let's go for the side beam on this thing. Yeah. There we go. Does a little bit of half. Awesome poison sting. That's not awesome for us. I wasted my poison. Twitch there. That's good. Yeah, Twitch is buffed by the sandstorm though. Of course he is. Side beam. Oh, it missed. Are you kidding me? Come on. Now another poison sting. Shoot. Oh my gosh, that was I afraid of the poison. Shoot. Just come on. Come on, Twitch, you can do this. Okay, you hurt by poison too. I know, it's like a double whammy. <laughs> Thank you for hitting the time. Thank you. 
There goes the sentry, cool. Switch to level 23, awesome. She's on the full store, or not full store, but full heal. I came up short. Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry, Picnicker. Thanks for 384 Pocket Dollars, though. So, let's use a full heal on Twitch. Okay, cool. This is sealed off for now. I think if you go down here, there's a team for Sandstorm. Team 28, I think. Not Team 28, Team 37. Team 37 Sandstorm. Cool. Let me just make sure that was the right one. Team 37 Sandstorm. Cool. Nice. Okay. So let's continue on. Repel off, of course. Okay, let's put another repel on then. Okay. Yeah, let's take on this picnic. I have a picnic. I'm having a picnic in the desert. You can always find a trainer, so I can enjoy a battle here too. Why would you have a picnic in a desert? Jeez, that doesn't make any sense. Especially during a sandstorm too. This is picnic or Heidi. Cool. Sanchez level 23. Awesome. Let's go for the side beam. It misses, of course. And now you are in Splunk, so Twitch is attack- not attack, but accuracy. This is great, man. This is just great. I really don't like this, honestly. Let's give it another side beam. It hits this time, that's good. And a poison sting, it, it hits. Shoot. Oh my gosh, I was afraid of that the poison, jeez. I figured I have berries that also do status condition healing moves too. I should use one actually at the end of this battle. Side beam missed, are you kidding me? Switch might faint now, especially that sentry one, sentry slash, are you kidding me? That was dumb. All because you missed, jeez. Fine, I'll use a move that really never misses. So it's um, I sh yeah, I can't even use Shockwave, which you would have never missed, but it won't affect the Sandshrew. But I'm gonna use Swift on there. Stupid, uh, Sandshrew. Ball toy, okay. Let's see how much the stealing does. Use, I'm, I meant to use stealing, but okay. Rapid spin, that's not do, gonna do very much. Only one HP, cool. Apparently Skarmory is not uh, affected by the Sandstorm at all, that's good actually. There we go, nice. Okay, yeah. We have Picnic or Heidi, okay. Oh, you mean, sorry. Well, you're the one who, f who killed, who fainted my Spoink, my Twitch. Thanks for 368 Pokedot, so I don't really feel bad about making you, saying, being mean to you, apparently. Okay, so is there anything up here? Oh, there's two fossil, okay. So I'm just gonna grab the one I pick, um, I'm gonna pick the left one, no matter what it is, it doesn't really matter. It can, it can be restored there at the uh, Devon Goods Corporation building in Rushboro City. You found the right root fossil. If it's the root, if the root fossil is taken, the other one will sink into the sand. Take the root fossil anyway. I want to show off the um, the claw fossils. Too. So the claw fossil can be revived into Agar Agaroth or not or Anath. It starts with an A. It's Amaroth or something like that. So uh, yeah. No, I'm gonna take the root fossil because I clicked on the one to the. I said the one I, I said I'd pick the one on the left. So the root fossil actually revives into Leap, which is the pre-evolved form of Kirdili, and uh, Amaroth or whatever is the pre-evolved form of uh, Armaldo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Kirdili ends up being like rock and grass. That's pretty cool typing. And then uh, 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 Armaldo turns out to be a bug and rock and bug type, I believe. So yeah. Take the root fossil anyway? Yes, so go take the root fossil. You can only take one, the other one will sink at the sand. I think if you play an emerald, you can get the um, the other one back eventually, I think, if they do a certain thing. But for Ruby and Sapphire, you can only pick one of the two. Repulse effect off? Okay, we'll take, we'll use another pearl then, I guess. Yeah. Here's a camp for nice. Wearing these go goggles makes me feel like a superhero. For right now, nobody can beat me. We'll see about that. I can probably just lose that streak for you. Or end that streak for you, I should say. Can't put Cliff. He has two Pokemon. He has a ball toy. Okay, cool. Let's go for the... 
Steel wing. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Psybeam is gonna hit. That's too bad. Not very effective though, so that's good. Since I'm still rages. Let's go for the swift attack. Nice, okay. It's gonna be good level 24, awesome. Ball toy again, okay. The same storm rages, that's great. Dude, so does the same storm want a metal or something? I mean, like, come on. Yeah, because the stealing hits, that's good. It, it, almost when it kills it. The serpent's been probably doing one HP, it does. Nice. Good for us. And the sandstorm still rages, that's great. Let's go for the swift attack. Sandstorm kill Stan. Let's go for the steel wing. Let's see what this does. It's about one third. Okay. Well, it's not gonna. It's not gonna affect um, Screamer because Screamer. This it's trying to use Dig, which is ground type move, but it won't affect uh, Screamer at all because it's half flying type. Wonder if this will still hit. Nope, missed the time. Dang it. Yeah, it doesn't affect Screamer. Cool. I have to use another stealing on you and then hopefully another swift or peck actually use peck after stealing. Nice. Good quite awesome. We don't even have to use peck. Cool skimmer's defense rose, awesome. Good for camper cliff, nice. I can't win on spirit alone. Okay, thanks for the 352 experience uh, not, not experience but pocket dollars. I think that's the end of the desert actually. So yeah. Let's go. Oh, I missed this item right here. Wow. That's another Stardust. Awesome. So maybe we might go way back to Paddleburg City. I'm gonna skip that trainer on the mountain. Uh, I think it's a black belt dude that you have to use the mock bike on. So I'm gonna actually switch to the, to the um, mock bike when I get back to Rivals. When we get back to Marvel City, we go to Rivals Cycle Shop again. Oh man, wait, we don't have. Shoot. Yeah, I don't have Rock Smash with me. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, we should actually take out Pokemon really. Fine. Well, I'll skip ahead to where um I can get a um, get the way back out of the PC. I totally forgot about that. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use a pull though here. So see you guys in a second. Okay, here in Fwarbur Town, I actually want to sell my Stardust. Um, two Stardusts I found in the desert. I will actually buy more pills to make for the ones I'm using right now. So yeah, well, I didn't have to really use them if I picked out uh, way way out of the PC. You know, get two thousand poker dollars there. There, nice. Okay, let's go for. Let's use um. Do you not sell a pills here? Okay, you do actually. Cool. Nice. Let's buy four of them, I guess. Break even with selling those two starters for two thousand and buying something for two thousand dollars. Nice. Cool. It's nice to break even sometimes. So I'm gonna go back to where I was at, where we need to have that uh, rocks rock smashed from uh, using rock smash. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so right back here we can use rock smash. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna switch out the bikes as I said before when I get to Mo when I get to Marvel City, and I'm gonna switch the Acro bike with the Mach bike. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'll show it, I guess. So yeah. So hey, Vital. Oh, what do you think about switching bikes? Yes. Okay, no problem. I'll switch bikes for you. Um, Steven got the Acro bike exchanged for a Mach bike. So yeah, this is Mach bike awesome. If you forget the urge to switch bikes, come just just come see me. Thanks, though. Be, I'll know that for the future and stuff. Yeah, but the Mach bike really goes fast and stuff. It's hard to control as you can see right here, but it goes a lot faster than the Acro bike. So that's cool. Oh wait, we never did the cycling road actually, so let's do that actually real quick. So we'd have a friend, I think I have his Twitch up front. Yeah. So I'm gonna switch to a uh, Screamo, I guess. Yeah. With the Screamo. 
Cause like there's a bunch of you know magnemites on this uh, cycling road, so maybe not scream or Twitch would be this, the right choice. Let's uh, use uh, Smokey, I guess. Yeah, cool. Let's do that. Let's take on the cycling road. He passed by the check right there. He paused for a little bit when we passed him though, like when we right past, when we passed him, like when he saw us in his complete eyesight. I guess if that makes sense. This one does this person this trainer doesn't bother you, does it? How do you like uh the way my ravine colored hair streams behind me? I grew my hair out just for that. Thanks. That's good to know. Let's take on this uh cycler. The triathlon is hard in the extreme. You have to complete the three events of swimming, cycling and running. Yeah, that's a lot of hard work and if you train hard enough, uh you can do it. Uh, I'm recording this on February seventeenth of twenty eighteen. And it's a Saturday night, and I'm recording to 11.07 p.m. right now, is what the time is as I'm speaking <laughs> right now. And uh, the Winter Olympics in uh, so South Korea are happening right now, so that's pretty cool. So that kind of, with the whole running, swimming, and running thing, it kind of remind me of the Olympics, really. Yeah, so uh, let's go for the Ember. There we go, awesome. It's 20k, awesome. It's super effective, awesome. Your defeat triathlon Abigail, I believe was his name. Pokemon battles are hard too. Yeah, that's true. Thanks for six hundred Pokemon dollars. Come on, I have to get in your eye of sight then, I guess. Yo, can you keep up with my speed? Probably not. I'm really bad on the mock bike. I can't really control it that well. I mean, that's hard to control. So yeah, triathlete Anthony would like the battle. Like, cool, it's a Magnemite. Nice, level sixteen. Cool. Let's go for the Ember. Nice, okay. Nothing, I thought it's an Magmite, cool. Let's go for the Ember again. There we go, awesome, cool. We played defeated Triath oh, we defeated Triathlete Anthony Crash and Burn. Sorry man, thanks for this because you're four pocket dollars though. Okay, so now that Smokey is level twenty six, let's uh keep Smokey actually up front. Why not? Yeah, here's another but trainer that wants to battle. Don't panic if your bike goes is going fast, if your bike's going fast. That's cause you know you don't want to panic. She's another triathlete. This one's triathlete Benjamin. He's one Pokemon as a Magnemite. It's level 17. Cool. That's really cool, man. Let's go for the Ember. Let's get Supersonic on Smokey, which kind of stinks. So hopefully Smokey will still hit with Ember, but that's okay if it's not on the board. If it hits us with confusion, it still hits with Ember. Awesome. Nice. Let's go for the Ember. Triathlete Benjamin, nice, okay. I skipped the dog, sorry, but thanks for the 600 day poker dollars, man. Suck to you. Oh, hey, you got a bike from Rydal. Oh, it's glorious. It's glaringly obvious. It says right on your bike. Rydal, 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 Yeah, it says everywhere. You should ride it around all over the place. It's good advertising. That's good to know. Let's take on this train right here. I've been uh, riding without stopping. My thighs are like rocks. That's kind of cool, I guess, and kind of gross at the same time, I guess. But yeah, see the trick house right there in the top left corner of the screen. I'm actually going to do the trick houses, other trick houses, in like one big video um, when I have like all eight gym badges, because I don't want to come. I'll always just come back after I get a number of gym badges. I know I was gonna do that originally, but I decided I'm gonna actually uh, just. Uh, Get all H and badges and then uh, take on all the trick houses all at once. So, yeah, that's my plan. So, this is Triathlete um, Jasmine. Okay, cool. She has a Magnemite. No surprise there. They all like, use Magnemite on the cycling like, road, basically. So, she has the Ember on this thing. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Another Magnemite, of course. No surprise there. Magnemite, Magnemite, Magnemite. It's all about Magnemite. And this should take it down. Yes, it does. Awesome. 
Water orb, something new to fight. Yay, let's use body slam on this thing. Let's go for the body slam. It's only level 70, wow. Okay. There we go, okay. Triathlon does. We defeat Triathlon. Triathlete Jasmine. I'm worried about muscle cramps. Oh, don't worry about that. You'll be fine. I believe in you. Thanks for the 200 Pokedollars, too. You have another Pokemon battle? Uh, another Pokemon battle here, of course. Whoa, watch it. I guess you're not into bike. used to bike racing. I am not, to be honest, so let's just battle. This is another Triathlete. This is Triathlete Jacob. He has a Voltorb at level 7. Okay, cool. Let's go for the body slam on this thing. It should want to kill it. And it does. Awesome. Nice. And you have another Voltorb, okay. This one level 7 or a little high, higher level. No, it's level 7. So you another body slam then. Yeah. There we go. Nice. And a Magnemite. Cool. So there's two Voltorbs and a Magnemite. That's pretty cool. This Magnemite's level 15. Awesome. Let's go for the ember, it hits, and yeah, when it kills it, awesome. It's super effective, yay. We defeated player, uh, we defeated, um, Trathlete Jacob, nice. Whoa, my bikes, my bricks failed, sorry man. Thanks for the 600 pocket dollars, I appreciate it. Yeah, learning techniques with my bike, riding, even, learning techniques with, Learning techniques will make bike riding even more fun. There are some places that you can reach only by using a bike technique. That's true. Like the speed of the bunny hop of the speed of the mock bike or the bunny hop of the um the number of the okay, the speed of the mock bike or the hop bunny hop of the acro bike. There we go. Number of cushions eleven times. Total time one minute plus. My word your second suit border on terrifying. Most uh, most certainly you need much more practice riding. I haven't rode on a mock bike for a long time, thank you very much. Is there someone under cycling road? Or oh, maybe at the beginning there is, but I could be wrong. Because I remember there was a psychic uh, trainer with, a, I think, an app or two. But I think I'll just skip out on that battle completely because I don't really want to go back and try to find that trainer, I guess. Um. Yeah. We could actually, we could have actually gone, uh, to, um, west of, um, Marville City and gone to Verdant Turf Town, but I decided to go south of Marville City. Now we're in, um, Slayport City, so I'm gonna cut back to where we're in Marville City. I just wanted to show off the second road, I guess. That's what I wanted to show off because I didn't show that off yet. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, okay, cool. And that means we don't have to have Larry, so I'm also going to heal my Pokemon and uh, put Larry back in the PC. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so here we're back in Modville City. I'm going to go west of uh, Modville City, go on Route 117, and then go west of that route, and we're po off there. Good place to wear off, at least. And then we're back in Verdant Turf Town. Right now we are, actually. Cool. So we want to go through this cave again. I'll put a rep another repel on, though. So, yeah, that's good. Hopefully the boulder's still smashed so we don't think- yeah, good. Cause then we have to get where the PC and that would be fun cause that take up more time. Yeah. Okay, let's get through here I guess. Here's Rushboro City, cool. We're gonna go south of Rushboro City. I think if we um... I think if we go back to uh, the Devon Corporation building though and talk to the president, I think I'll give the experience share to us, which is pretty cool. I don't think I'll ever use it because I think my Pokemon can all fight for themselves now actually, but it's good to have at least, I guess, in your bag. So let's actually take a visit. Um, we can actually revive our fossil too, wow. Okay, so who is it you talk to? Um, no, I don't want to describe in detail. I think it's you. I'm trying to develop the ice that virtually we have to pass in the street. Nope, of course not. Okay, so what about you? I'm trying to develop a device that we have Pokemon's fossils. Ah, oh, it's working. It's working. Wait, that you have the Pokemon fossil you can move that back to life? Uh, I can, I came with my newly developed fossil regenerator. Sure, why not? Excellent, let's do this right away. Let's give another root fossil over to the dev movie researcher. So I think we have to exit the building. Well, can we exit the floor or something and come back in? Next for writing, fossils have been back, brought back to life. Fossil of each Pokemon, uh, the fossil was in each Pokemon, 
Leppa leap or, or something. Uh, dang, I don't have that. I don't have room in my party. I'll be right back. Jeez. Okay, now that we have room in our party for this Pokemon, thanks for waiting. Your fossil has been brought back to life. The fossil of Inchipak Leppa. The leap it was. We get the leap from the development researcher. Cool. I'm gonna give it a attempt to leap you soon. Um. Mmm, we'll leap, um, it's supposed to be for Deli. Let's name it Cool Guy. It's really not a very good nickname, but still, Cool Guy. Okay, so, Cool Guy's level 20, awesome. It's a rock and grass type Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. Its ability is suction cups, firmly anchors the body. If it lacks nature, let it level 20 at Rushboro City. Um, no bad, no item and no ribbon. Its attack is 23, its defense is 40, its special attack is 31, its special defense is 46, and its speed is 18. It has the moves Astonish, Constrict, and Acid. Cool. So I'm gonna go get, um, I can actually, I can do that after we leave the building, but yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a uh, fighter back at the PC later though. So let's talk to the president of the Devon Corporation again. So let's talk to him. Yeah, what does he say? Mr. Stone says, you delivered the letter. Thank you kindly. This may, this is my way of thanking you. It should help you. It should help you a trainer. Cool. We get the experience share, which I probably won't use because all my Pokemon can actually fight for themselves and stuff. Yeah, and get experience. A Pokemon holding the experience, that experience share will be given the sum of the experience in battle. It will give the experience points even. It will get, it will get experience points if it doesn't actually battle. I would say uh, experience is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. That's cool to know. That's good to know. So yeah, we're gonna make our way out of this building. And uh, get a uh, fighter out of the PC. So I'll be right back. I'll, I'm gonna get fighter out of the PC real quick and deposit a cool guy, I guess, in the PC. So we are back. Okay, that's good to know. We're done here. Okay, for now at least. <laughs> I think we have to go back again or something. I don't think we actually do, but you never know. So we're gonna make our way back down to uh, Puddleburg Woods from Route One Zero Four, One Thousand One Hundred Four. I must said One Thousand. Geez. So uh, you can just hop over edges, right? I'm making sure everyone's at the right. Yeah, okay, in the right order from levels from least the greatest. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, nice, okay. I'm just showing you how you can get back to Petalburg Woods. Or one of the ways you can get back to Petalburg Woods. So Mr. Brony is technically uh, where um, it's still on the beach of Slaveport, so I kind of just left him there. <laughs> oh well. We went back to Petalburg City. And we can take on the gym in the next part, but yeah, because I'm going to end the part right here. But also, uh, next part, I'm going to actually train everyone up to level 29. So Twitch will be level 29. That's six levels. Six more levels I have to train it. Um, train him. Uh, Screamo is level 24, so that's five more levels I have to train Screamo. I have to train her. Five more levels. Metroid, I have to uh, train uh, him. Four more levels. Gaiko, I have to train uh, him. Four more levels. And then Smokey, I have to train three more levels. I have to train her three more levels. And then Fighter, I have to train him three more levels as well. So that's pretty cool. And then, uh, is there anything else I want to show, be ready for the next part? Um, I don't think so, but if I forget, you know, I'll just remember, hopefully, try my best. So yeah, so this has been my Pokemon uh, Ruby Redo Walk their part. Next part will take on the gym, like we said, and uh, hopefully get an HM that will be very useful to us. So yeah, this has been Draco again. I'd like to thank you again, goodbye, and I'll see you guys in my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walk the Guide.